Head over to BoardGamePrices.com to find the best price on the One Key and thousands of other games. One Key is a cooperative game for two to six players that features this great original artwork, where one player is going to be trying to give players clues as to which card is actually the key, but they can't talk, they have to give them clues by giving them other cards. For example, this card was randomly selected as the one key, but only that one player knows it, and they're going to be giving clues like this and telling them if there's a link or not. Over here it's red, there's no good link, so everyone has to remove one card that they think is not the right card. They decide to remove this one because it's also like a monster, which is not linked, and we move on. But over the course of the rounds, they're going to have to remove two, three, and four cards so it gets harder each round. And if they ever remove the one key card, we all immediately lose. But each subsequent round, the other players are going to have three cards to choose which one they want to look at, and it will show you what type of link it has. So as the rounds go on, they get more clues like stronger links or weaker links, but they have to remove more and more cards each round. And the only way to win is to get to the last round and remove the four cards that are not the key, leaving the key of the game, and you win. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. The One Key has some really unique looking artwork with a lot of abstract concepts and the cards look really cool. And I've always liked this art interpretation aspect of working together to try to interpret art to figure out what's going on. Uh, and this game does that, but unfortunately it didn't, doesn't do it nearly as well as some of these other games like Dixit and Mysterium and Muse and Detective Club and Shadows Amsterdam. The links between these cards seem to be a little bit too random and a little bit too abstract to really make this game work. You couldn't make it too easy because then it would be too easy to win, but it just didn't. I liked the game in theory, but in all reality, in execution, it didn't go very well with me or anybody that I played it with. I would definitely play these other ones that I mentioned before this one. It just didn't grab me. It didn't execute that well. and It's not one that I'm going to be coming back to, and that's the one key. This video was shot on a Game Topper, the ultimate gaming accessory. After successfully fulfilling their first Kickstarter, Game Toppers are taking the world by storm. Now you can get your own portable gaming top by participating in Game Toppers Kickstarter 2.0 starting June 25th, 2019. New styles, new sizes, and amazing new game mats. Go to GameToppersLLC.com to enter a full Game Topper system valued over $1,000 to also bring you to the Kickstarter project page and to Late Pledge.